Hey everyone, it's Amy with Dewdrops Photography. I'm so excited about this collaboration with Greater Than Gatsby for the Newborn Collection Part 2. The first thing I'm going to do when anytime I open up an image is just check out the surroundings, make sure there's nothing I need to take care of right away. And as you can see here, I've got the baby shusher and I've got some of the wood background showing. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool. I'm going to select those areas one at a time and then go to Blanket Patchwork Action and have it filled in nicely for me. I'm going to select this area over here and do the same thing. And there you go. So you don't have to clone and spend a lot of time doing that. There we go. Then I'm going to move on to the one click foundations. The simple and subtle foundations is what I use the most. And what I love about it is I was using portraiture on almost every image and now I don't have to because I can use this and it does my initial skin smoothing for me. And there you go. And then on to the retouch toolkit. I'm going to use the creamy glow smoother this time. And at the opacity, the brush opacity will be 50%. And I'm going to brush on the air on baby skin, avoiding the hair, lips, and eyes. You can make your brush, and most people know this, but you can make your brush bigger or smaller by using your bracket keys. It'll save you the trouble of going all the way up to the top and changing the size of your brush. Then onto the retouch, I mean onto the facial features enhancers. I love this one. I use it every time the lash enhancer. At about 40% with my brush, I will just do one little swipe over their eyelids or their lash line. And then I'll go to usually rosy cheeks at about the same 40% opacity. There we go. Now if the baby had her eyes open, his eyes open, I would use the open eye enhancer and the catch light enhancer as well. And sometimes I'll use rosy lips just at a very low opacity. And even though he's a boy, I'm going to give those lips just a little pop of color. There we go. Uh, the tone correctors. This is my absolute favorite because, well, favorite on the um, retouch toolkit. Because some babies you'll get in the studio and they'll have um, red. They'll have jaundice issues and a number of problems. Um, and you don't have to go to a bunch of different actions for those or do a bunch of hand edits to get the skin tone right. They're all right here for you. The red reducer, um, I'm gonna, he's, you can barely tell, he's just a tiny bit red right here. And I'll be showing another video as well as this one, so I'm gonna really use the um, skin tone enhancers a lot or the tone correctors. I'm gonna go ahead and go to ostracize the orange at a 40% and just brush all over his whole face. He is just a little, has a bit of orange undertones. And then I'm gonna even use the go away gray right down here. A lot of times I've noticed babies have little gray skin around the lips and underneath the nose. Let me just brighten that up a little bit. And if you, go, if you do too much, you can always adjust your opacity right here. And then on to the organic tones. These are great because you can really use these to enhance your images and your, and your style. What I use the most is to, tummy time. I probably use this one on 90% of my images. There we go. And you can always bring the opacity down just a little bit if you'd like, adjust to taste. And for this one, I'm gonna use applesauce. I love how it just warms the entire image with that peachy glow. Bring that down just a little bit.
And then I'm going to just show you really quickly um, two of my favorite black and white actions. The potato sack and, oh, that was the froggy, sorry, and then the potato sack. love those. Uh, matte the edges is what I normally use on I would say about 90% of my images as well. It really just draws your attention into the subject more and really highlights the baby. And if you look down here there's a diaper bag full of helpers. I'm not going to use any of these on this particular image. He doesn't need it. But um, I will show you a little mid-tone pop. You just need to add a little brightness. And then I'm going to go to sharp I, on all my images and I sharpen them at the very end. This is a subtle sharpener. There we go. I'm going to go in with my spot healing brush and just zap a couple of these little bumps. I don't really worry too much about their flakes on their hands and feet, just the face most of the time. There we go. Now, if, let's say you're all say you save this image as a JPEG and you want to go ahead and share it on Facebook or some other social plat media platform. You can use the face, uh, Facebook horizontal because most 90% of my images are 95% of my images are horizontal. Uh, and then it's got the perfect measurements to make your images really stand out on uh, Facebook or Instagram. And there we go. And I'm going to show you a quick before and after. There we go. And then I'll show you one more time before and after. And you can visit www.greaterthangatsby.com to purchase your action set. Thank you so much.